Hello everyone, welcome to latest update program. The topic of discussion is National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance. This topic relates to science and technology section of the UPS CCS e syllabus. Let's see why this is in news. India's much awaited second version of the National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance was launched by Union Health Minister on the 18th of November 2025. The launch took place during World Antimicrobial Resistance Awareness Week 2025, highlighting the country's continued commitment to addressing antimicrobial resistance. Now let's discuss about National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance 2.0. It is developed for 2025 to 2029, follows the first version of the plan for 2017 to 2021, which was a response to the World Health Organization's call for national action plans on antimicrobial resistance. The plan was formulated through consultations among different sectors such as human health, animal husbandry, environment, research and civil society. Each ministry or department has its own action plan with goals, timelines and specific mechanisms for coordination. The plan includes funding, collaboration strategies and clear implementation roadmaps. It aims to mitigate the misuse and overuse of antibiotics, ensuring long-term, sustainable solutions to the problem of antimicrobial resistance. Now let's discuss antimicrobial resistance. It occurs when microbes such as bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites evolve to resist the drugs designed to kill them, rendering treatments less effective or ineffective. The primary causes of antimicrobial resistance include the misuse and overuse of antibiotics and other antimicrobials in human health, animal husbandry and agriculture. It threatens to undermine modern medicine, leading to higher healthcare costs, prolonged hospital stays and increased mortality. Addressing antimicrobial resistance requires coordinated efforts across sectors, including human health, animal health, agriculture and the environment. Now it's time to do a practice question. Consider the following statements regarding antimicrobial resistance. 1. It occurs when microbes resist drugs due to the misuse and overuse of antibiotics in human health, animal husbandry and agriculture. 2. Addressing antimicrobial resistance requires efforts only from the human health sector. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? A. 1. Only. B. 2. Only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Send the answer for this question in the comment section. Thanks for watching. For more informative content, like, share, and subscribe. And do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.